Hey everyone! A few months ago, I rescued a little paralyzed kitten named Chloe. I freaking love this kitten. Chloe! I usually rescue orphan bottle baby kittens, tiny little guys. So I was actually at the shelter picking up a two week old named Tetley. Telly had been brought into the shelter all by herself in a tea box, and that's when I was told about Chloe, this little paralyzed four-week-old kitten who had been dropped off at the animal shelter with no use of her back legs. They knew that I liked taking difficult cases, so they asked if I would give her a chance. I had never cared for a paralyzed kitten before, so of course I said yes. Hi! And if anybody can figure out how to adopt out a paralyzed kitten, we should probably come. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, but I knew that I wanted to help. Since then, I have learned so much, and she has grown so much, and I have grown so much. It's been a completely transformative experience for me. So I wanted to share some of my favorite moments from fostering little Chloe. The first few weeks with Chloe were all about helping her get better. I took her to over 30 vet appointments in just three months. Chloe went to neurologists, she went to laser therapy, and most frequently, she went to acupuncture. Chloe's acupuncture sessions really helped her to relax, and they provided her with a lot of therapeutic support. Acupuncture helps with blood flow, movement of lymph, and healing. So after every acupuncture appointment, we saw so many improvements in her ability to support herself. It was really exciting to see her getting better and better. Oh my god, her tail! Yeah. Yeah, this is incredible. Like, this is extremely good response right away. <laughs> such a whim. I love her. Another thing we did for Chloe was work on getting a wheelchair made for her. We tricked this thing out. I worked with a local 3D printer. This guy, Preston, was awesome. He worked really hard on designing something that was custom fit to Chloe's body that's adjustable with all these different bars that can change as she grows. And we worked hard on making this thing perfect for her. And we even put little bands that say, hope. I had a lot of hope that this was going to increase Chloe's mobility, but it turned out the wheelchair was not for her. You know, kittens wanna be able to do a lot of different movements. They wanna be able to climb and crawl and pounce, and they can't do any of that when they're strapped in here. So even though I thought it was doing her a big favor to get a wheelchair made, it actually was giving her more restriction. I'm super appreciative of the help that I had with this, but I think the biggest lesson that I learned with mobility devices like this is that most kittens just wanna be able to live in their natural body. It did result in some really cute photos though. So I always hoped that Chloe would be able to walk again. In fact, in the beginning I was so determined that I wouldn't take no for an answer. It's like I thought her life would be harder if she couldn't walk. Boy was I wrong. Even though Chloe doesn't have use of her legs, she does an incredible job of getting herself around. She scales the couch, she scales the nine foot cat tree. She is totally fearless. She just sometimes dangles off of stuff, or sits a little funny, or does a really bad job of hiding. We were hiding! One of the cutest things about Chloe has been watching how great she is with other foster kittens. After all, it was a baby kitten, Tetley, who saved her life in the first place. She and Tetley got along great. But Tetley grew up and was ready for adoption, so it was eventually time for Tetley to say goodbye. Bye, Tetley. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> but I'm a kitten rescuer, so right away I got another kitten named Numpkin. Now Chloe plays with Numpkin and takes on a maternal role with him. She lets him be his silly little self, but she also keeps him in mind. The two of them can often be found playing or cuddling. More recently, Chloe helped save a kitten named Tilly. I got a call about another orange paralyzed kitten who had entered the same shelter where Chloe came in. So I worked with a number of local animal rescuers and we got her everything she needed to get her out of the shelter and into foster care. Chloe met Tilly through the mesh of a playpen and the two of them looked almost identical. 
Fortunately, one of my friends who has a paralyzed cat was interested in adopting Tilly. So after just a couple days, my friend Chelsea was able to come down and take Tilly home. When donations came in for Chloe's care, they were great enough that I was able to put some aside into a Chloe fund. And the goal of the Chloe fund was to be able to pay it forward to another kitten just like Chloe. The Chloe fund is currently paying for all of Tilly's medical care so that she has the same opportunity that Chloe did. So Chloe is a freaking lifesaver. My favorite thing about Chloe is that she knows no limits. She's just like any other kitten and has no idea she's any different. Kittens like Chloe don't need our pity. They just need opportunity. They need someone to give them a chance at a full and happy life. And Chloe has taught me that when you give them a chance, they can do absolutely anything. Because of Chloe's special needs, she's been with me longer than most of my foster kittens. But she's reached a place where she's really healthy and she's ready to go. So I'm excited to share that she has found a forever home. More than 70 people filled out an application expressing their interest in giving Chloe a forever home. But I narrowed it down to the one that I thought was the very best fit for her. It's gonna be very emotional to say goodbye to her because she's one of my favorite kittens ever. And it is gonna be quite an adventure getting her there. But I know that it's all going to be worth it in the end. It feels awesome knowing that Chloe has had such a good head start and that now she's going to have an incredible opportunity to have a full and happy life. Don't forget, if you want daily updates about my life as a kitten rescuer, just check out my Instagram or Facebook and you can find updates every single day about the kittens that I help.